Hi everyone, thank you for joining us for another one of Power365's PowerShort. In this PowerShort, we'll be looking at Canvas App and how we can use the for all, ungroup, and group by functions to access data or tidy data in nested arrays. Right, to get started, I guess the first question here is what is a nested array? A nested array is objects within objects or objects within objects within arrays, arrays within arrays, and the way they come through to Canvas apps is subtly different to a flat array, which you typically see. To get us started, I've built as an array. Um, I've used sport as a, an example here. Sport being the first object. Underneath sport, we've got objects of football and rugby. Underneath football, we've got league and then the representative league, so Premier League and Championship in this instance. And you can probably see from this, especially where Visual, Visual Studio Code puts it in quite a nice format. We've got sport, then football, then league, then Premier League. So we've got a number of different levels and this is gonna be represented when we bring the data in. So in order to bring the data in, what I've firstly done is set up a Power Automate flow in the background. And all I'm doing is composing that same array and put it into a JSON response. This just allows me to call it from within the Canvas app. I've pre-added this as a data source. And now all I'm gonna do is just collect this data using the clear collect function. And then I'm gonna call it cold demo. We're obviously in a demo. And then if I just press run and you can see the IntelliSense is picking up the fact that I've already added this Power Automate flow. Just going to close that off. Hit play. Collect the data in. And then hopefully now we'll be able to see that under the nice new GUI that they've introduced recently and collections. And now you can see that we've got our first node, which is sport. So when we see this symbol, it indicates there's an object or an array underneath. So something more complex than just the flat data. So we click into sport. We're going to see football and rugby union, as we saw previously. Clicking into football, you can see league, under league, champion league, championship and Premier League. Click on Premier League, then we've got the representative team. So what we're going to try to do today is get the championship and Premier League teams and put them into this drop down menu. So just to show what happens if we try to do that as the data currently sits, if I look in the cold demo and select sport, it's going to come up with a warning uh, initially saying the columns produced by this rule are all nested tables and or records. However, the property expect at least some columns of simple values. So this is what I was saying about the nested data being complex data. If I try to move through this, as you typically do in other sort of formats in JSON, you can see it throws an error and it doesn't give me any further options. And this is a prime example where data coming in an externally in nested and complex scenarios. And we can't easily access the data to use within our Canvas app. So in order to get the data into a format that we can use within the dropdown, I'm going to use a for all loop. And, and this is the first part of our flattening process in the data. So putting that data in a more simplified format. So the for all loop is a loop. It goes through data sources and it goes through each record at a time. And the reason this is great is because it means that we can go further into those records and pull out data sources, and essentially make our own collection from this. So following the reference at the top, we're going to point it out our data source. So a data source at the moment is cold demo. This is the table that we're going to be looping through. And then I'm going to use my first part of the formula as a collect. So it's worth noting here that you can't use clear collect. And in order to get the same functionality, we just need to complete the for all and then put a clear at the top. You do need to point this at a new collection though. So we're going to do it as cold demo one. And this representing the fact that this is the, uh, the next stage in the flattening process. So I'm just going to close that off to get rid of the errors and then break it out. So firstly, I'm just going to give myself a reference point. And, and this is what I mean about being able to create your own arrays. So I'm going to hard code against the teams. The fact that I'm going to pull just Premier League teams in this instance and put Premier League next to them. 
I'm going to go into team. I'm going to denote this record. So this record is the current record that we're now on. So in the loop process, and this is where, as you can see, I from down the bottom with the IntelliSense, it's now allowing me to go a lot further into these records and into the nested parts of these records. So I'm going to go into football, then league, then Premier League. And we do need to take that one step further to get the, the teams underneath the values. Right, so I'm just going to take that there. And now I'm going to run it. So if we go and look at that data now that it's pulled through, again, up into collections. So now you can see we've got this new array. So cold demo one or new collection, I should say. And under cold demo one, we've got league, Premier League, which is the value I've got in. And then we've still got a node, which is team. But as you can see here, now we've got just those Premier League teams underneath. So we have gone away and we flattened that data. It's still within the node. And this is where we need to take an additional step. So in this instance, this is a perfect example of where an ungroup function comes into play. And it's kind of like a um, similar to an unpivot uh, where when we ungroup this, it's going to put Premier League and then the teams next to it. And this is really why I wanted to put the Premier League element in against the team is because when we now take that data out, all of those Premier League teams are going to have Premier League next to them. And that's great, uh, especially when you've got things like if I want to bring the championship teams in as well, and then we've given ourselves something nicely to filter against. So just to show you now where we're going to take that next step, I'm just going to come back out and we're going to go to ungroup. So ungroup is very similar to uh, what we've done previously in the flattening process. So this is another step. If it's another step, we need to put it in another new array. So I'm going to denote this by calling it cold demo two. And then under cold demo two, I'm going to use the ungroup function now. So ungroup is literally going to take what's in that node and put it against whatever's currently next to it so in this instance premier league so what we should see after this is premier league next to each team so i'm going to point that at the data source which is cold demo one so the first stage of our flattening process so this that was the table that we've created for our for all loop and then what we do we need to tell it the group name and as you can see here it's already making a recommendation on the intellistent the team being the the title column of what what we want to ungroup essentially so that's the data that's in the node so just going to wrap that and then we're going to go we're going to just click ungroup which is obviously going to run and create this third collection of cold demo 2. so i'm going to go up into collections and now you can see we've got this additional collection of cold demo 2 and then fingers crossed then there we go. So we've got Premier League next to AFC Bournemouth, etc. So the, the, the Premier League team, so it was start underneath. And now this is, is a flattened array into a, a usable data that we can use. And that, like I said previously, I purposely put the Premier League team in against it in this instance. So if I was to do this again for the championship teams, I would have something naturally to filter against. Um, and just to show you that we can now use that, I'm going to go into here. And we're going to point it at that new step, which was cold demo two. And then I can just point it at the value header, which will be the teams. And there we go. Got a nice flattened and access to those now. And that, that's great for a flattening process. Right, so just to finish off nicely, I'm going to show you the group function now. The group function is the exact opposite to ungroup. That means that we're going to look to put the data back to where it was before we ungrouped it. So I'm just going to show you the collection first. So this is how we expect it to look. So we're going to convert our cold demo two to eight data essentially back into cold demo one, where you've got Premier League and team next to it. So I'm just going to come back out. We're going to select group. I'm going to create another new collection, which will be cold demo three. And this time we're going to use the group by function to put it back into that format. So we're going to use the cold demo two, which is the ungroup data. 
and then we're going to put the thought it or the column name that we want to group by which is going to be league and then just going to say we want to group those values essentially we're going to close that one off again select the button and then fingers crossed and there we go so we've gone back from cold demo 2 which is the ungrouped data cold demo 3 which is the group data which again as as i said we're actually reverting the process we're back to cold demo 1 but anyway hopefully that'll be helpful for you and thank you for watching another one of power 365's power shorts